Well, they say winter is coming to a close, but uh, no evidence of that here in Toronto as the Ice Caps come in to face the Marlies for the second game of the weekend here at Rico Coliseum. It is a 12 game series and this is game number nine between St. John's and Toronto and that means Jan Denis will get the start in goal for the St. John's Ice Caps, the veteran netminder. Yeah, the 35 year old veteran and uh, you know he's obviously not getting the playing time that he's used to over the last couple of years but you know, imperative here in a three and three for their hockey club. They need their veteran to stand tall for them if they want to have a chance to win. And Antoine Bebo comes back in for his third consecutive start here on the weekend. And a terrific 26 save performance yesterday to get his record back to the 500 mark. And he's going to look to get back up over top of that if he can get a victory here today. Well, again, that's another one of those situations where we talked about the fact that a very conscious effort of not giving any time and space to Seth Griffith. Give away right out front, backhander scores as Alexi couldn't have handed it any better to Sherback. Well, Nikita Sherback gets a gift wrapped right on the tape, and he makes no mistake as he dipsy doodles, goes to the backhand, and puts it short side on Antoine Bebo. But you're right, Steve Alexi going to move the puck. And he wants to make a sauce pass and he doesn't get any on it. And it's right onto the tape of Nikita Sherback. Opens the scoring in this one for the St. John's Ice Caps. One nothing St. John's. Turning back, Della Rose. Five minutes to go here in period number one. And the Marlies down by one. The only goal in the game is Janssen has a tough time getting Della Rose makes no mistake. And a couple of mistakes out front of Antoine Bebo have the ice caps up 2 0. Well, turnovers can kill you. And this shows a great example. Back to back goals here in the last minute or minute and a half here by the St. John's ice caps. And this time, Wren tries to clear the puck. It's blocked by De La Rose. And then it's Andreas Johnson picks it up. He goes to make the pass. It gets picked off. And De La Rose picks up the puck and he fires it. And I think this is going to go off the stick of William Wren and change directions a little bit before it gets to Bebo. But there's the shot right there. And the seventh goal of the season by De La Rose. Battle for it, played right back up. Terry had a lot of time and a shot blocked by Greening back out. Oh, Terry shoots, he scores. And that quick movement of the puck is exactly what caught the Marlies going in the wrong direction and a power play goal from Chris Terry as the ice caps go up three nothing. Well Chris Terry's got a bullet of a shot and that's one thing that the coaching staff the Toronto Marlies said that he was the guy they got to make sure they don't get the puck to and the goaltender he moves from one side Antoine Bebo but the quick puck movement as you just said Todd and they get it over to Terry and he one times it past Bebo before he can get back from his right to his left and the St. John's ice caps on a power play marker have opened up a three nothing lead here still 1358 to play in period number two. Capping him back up high past Nielsen and now a race to it. Kamara coming in shot. Just wide and Bebo gets a touch on it to keep it out. You don't get closer than that. And Anthony Kamara, the Toronto boy, with a burst of speed down that right side and the left shot, he gets the opportunity and the puck squirts through Bebo and then he's going to continue around the goal as he spots the puck and he dives to chip it in and there you see the paddle of Antoine Bebo preventing that puck from getting by him. As they're going to split here with the St. John's ice caps on home ice to end this weekend. As time ticks away, a tough one that didn't get going in the right direction from the get-go. Jan Denis picks up the shutout as the St. John's Ice Caps the win 3-0 over the Marlies.